With no ceiling, this fifth year center is shining. The lot for Ben. What a play! I think his upside is unbelievable. Each year he's added to his game. All of these things are going to help our team. A culture carrier who has learned from the best. This whole role that I've been playing all these years, if it was for a reason, number 13 was the reason. His reach to the city continues to expand. You definitely don't take life for granted once you see something tragic like that. And his infectious personality is made for the spotlight. You, you can't make crazy. it look at him. I enjoy seeing myself on TV a lot. I know the feeling bringing home gold for his country. Keep adding to the resume. It was the first thing I've won in the NBA. I can always look up, see my name in the Raptors. It simply doesn't stop there. It's another year just to level up myself, my team. Instead of having this flag, we might, might have a big trophy. Inside the heat, Bam Adebayo. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Inside the Heat. I am Jason Jackson. In the summer of 2021, fifth-year veteran Bam Adebayo did something only a few others in this organization have accomplished. He won a gold medal in the Olympics. As a part of Team USA, Bam quickly made his impact felt as a starter, and after four weeks and playing in nine games, he was an Olympic champion. Bam and I met in person to discuss his golden summer. It's Bam Adebayo, bound for Tokyo. Bam Adebayo, excited to make his Olympic debut. Bam Adebayo will be going for gold in Tokyo. Bam, let's start off with this fantastic Olympic experience, made fantastic by that beautiful thing around your neck. You are no stranger to Team USA, but tell us about the moment you knew you would be playing in the Olympics in Tokyo. It was right after the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And one of my friends looked at me and says, you know, just completely out the blue. It's not time to rest yet. And uh, he didn't even have to finish the sentence. It was like, it was just an instant, like, on switch. That was my decision. Heat guard Tyler Hero playing for head coach Eric Spolster for the USA Select team. This week in Vegas, the squad put together to help the national team get ready for the Olympics. So you get to training camp in Vegas. You see some familiar faces. What was that experience like having Heat family in that space before you depart? Oh, great. First of all, a great, great opportunity for all of us to see Tyler get out there and be like, I can be a part of that team if y'all do choose me and I'm prepared. The whole Olympic team is, you know, filled with obviously great players that are very well accomplished in this league, and I think I can just take away, you know, really anything from any of them guys. And to see the way Coach was coaching against us, and uh, you can anticipate some of that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at some of the players like, okay, this is that, this is that. It just makes it fun and makes it more. Competitive between the three of us, that's what boiled down to. Competing, having fun, and then, you know, at the end of the day, we all we all heat family. You ready for the game tonight? Take me a nap, lock in. Before heading to Tokyo, Team USA played four exhibition games in Vegas. Bam has the ability to have that type of impact on an offense from that center position. Ready for the Olympics, and that's the way to start off game number three. And after starting with a game one loss in Tokyo, they bounced back, winning four games in a row and playing their best when it mattered most. The United States coming together for a chance to play for gold. In the gold medal game against France, Bam had six rebounds, four assists, three blocks, and a steal, propelling Team USA to winning their fourth straight gold medal. How's it feel, Bam? Man, it feels great, man. Got me one. Young 24, fresh 24 for real. Uh, keep adding to the resume. Take us to that wonderful moment that you're a Olympic champion. It was the first thing in the NBA besides the skills challenge <laughs> <laughs> that I've won in the NBA. The joy and everything you think about and then you, the first thing you think about is the journey. 
Like after you get the gold medal and uh, y'all celebrate, it's like, wow, we went through a crazy journey. He was one of the key components uh, to their success, but I think the more often you can experience impacting winning at the highest level, being part of a team and, and, and finding a way to collectively uh, get the job done, I think is valuable. Have you decided where this is gonna go? I haven't, but you know, my mom will probably take it at some time. Yeah, at some time. Foreverness right there. A special night for big man Bam Adebayo. As per tradition with the Heat, if you win an Olympic gold medal, your name goes up in the rafters. He's a student of Heat history. He's becoming a part of Heat history tonight. You wasted no time knowing full well what this gold medal meant from an organization standpoint. You will forever hang with Alonzo, Tim, LeBron, and with Dwayne as a player that won gold while wearing this uniform. Why is that such a big deal for you? Part of history, carrying the torch. I mean, you do talk about it a lot of time. Any accolades that I'm willing to build and really to bet on, just, you know, preparing me for when he finally does walk away from this game. Every game from now on in my career, I can always look up and uh, see my name in the Raptors. Welcome back to Inside the Heat. Bam Adebayo has become a savvy veteran on this Miami Heat team and is deemed a culture carrier. He has taken the torch passed to him by Udonis Haslam and run with it. With some new faces in the locker room, Bam's found a common thread that they all share. We picked up our conversation diving into the grit of this team. Bam, yet another rebound. That's 19. George Hill stolen by Butler. Bam with the slam. Oh, the Heat look tenacious. You recently had a quote calling the Heat locker room, quote, a kennel, because there are a lot of dogs. We consider ourselves underdogs, overlooked, and uh, we fight our way out. That's kind of how the kennel goes. You fight to survive. The kennel actually originated from UD40. He said, man, I started as a pup in this league, and I had to fight. Where do rescue dogs go? All right, the kennel, the pound. He was like, and why are they there? You know, they looking to find a home. He said, exactly. And he was like, a lot of us come into this league, and we're fighting for a position, we're fighting for a spot, and we're fighting, you know, to feed our families. When he said it, it just clicked to me, because obviously I'm one of those people that want to take care of my mom, take care of my family. So that's how you think about it. Like, a lot of dogs got to get out that kennel by having that grit, having that grind in this NBA, and being willing to sacrifice and put in the work. It's the kennel, man. We're trying to fight our way out. The lob for Ben. What a play. Play of the game. Oh. Guys who embody that happen to be new faces around here. Tucker could not run it down. Oh, my. He went head first into the second row. EJ, Kyle, and Markeith, how are those relationships building your expectations for them? So far, so great. They're definitely open-minded, buying into how we do things around here. Here's Morris. Corner pocket three is good. Kevin Durant charges into Kyle Lowry for an offensive foul. They've become a great part of the, the culture. Who are you looking to, to lift and lead at this point? Pull under my wing? Yes, sir. Ooh. I'm going to say Gabe Vincent. Gabe Vincent, starting the night in place of the injured Lowry, sets up Bam for the little one-hander. He's always willing to work, to sit down and actually really have conversations on what I need to do, how I need to get better. I respect that, that he's so open. I know I'm giving him a lot of credit here. Don't, don't think I really like you like that, Vincent. He, my man's and all, but uh, yeah. he's just one of those dudes I could gravitate to and we can have conversation. Experience aside, is Gabe older than you? Yes. Yeah, I love that part. I do love that part about your yep. abilities. Yes. But you still, you have the appropriate exactly. expertise and experience for and that I relationship. Like the, and I like the gloat about my medal. Right. Oof, that's cold. You mentioned UD a few times. When you arrived, he identified you as a culture carrier in the making. He would be the next one, without a doubt. This whole road that I've been playing all these years, if it was for a reason, I found it. Number 13 was the reason. 
Can I be in the picture with y'all? Yeah, you can. Let's turn that way. But you might have taken over his most important contribution to this organization, and that's uh, the Media Day UD show. How did the Anchor Bam show go? That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> On somebody be like, you're gonna be UD for the day. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. let's see how this goes. <laughs> What you want to tell the people in 305, man? This is my new show. It's called Anchor Bam. Anchor Bam? Yeah, Anchor Bam. Yeah. The whole time I'm going through the process, I'm thinking, all right, like, oh, you do. How will you do say this? How would he interact with his teammates? Bam, bam, What, bam. bro? Why? What you mean? Are you standing too First close to me? I've been learning those type of things from UD from since I got here, uh, learning how to move a room. <laughs> In all seriousness, you were in that space because UD was not here, grieving of the death of his father, and uh, he wasn't at training camp. Bam wearing Haslam's number 40 at the Heat's first practice today, showing respect for the soon-to-be 19-year NBA bet. Talk to us about why you wore his number. He didn't want a lot of us to text him to, you know, get involved, and uh, just him not being there, you could feel an empty space. I'm one of his closest friends, so I just took it upon myself, I'm gonna wear his jersey today, just so respect. Every once in a while, somebody might glare and see the 40 and think you're there, and his spirit will always be with us. Welcome back to Inside the Heat. Bam Adebayo is the face of the franchise, and his reach in the community has grown. With a focus on giving back to single mothers, he's continued to provide love and support in many different ways. But in the summer of 2021, the city of Surfside suffered an unbearable tragedy, and Bam wasted no time to lend his support to those affected. We continued our conversation discussing that emotional day at the Champlain Towers. Well, Miami Heat continue to show their support for the victims, families, and first responders in Surfside. Today, Heat Center Bam Adebayo made an emotional trip to the memorial. This afternoon, Bam got to see firsthand the scope of the tragedy. Take us back to that day and what it was like for you and why it was important for you to have feet on the ground in that space. Uh, it's important to me because once, like, I'm, I move into the role of being the face of the franchise, and uh, I just feel like once you're a part of this, you're a part of the community. Trying to do our part. I really embody that. I really embody taking care of people. Whatever y'all need, just let me know. So that's why I actually, before I left to go to the Olympics, I said I'd do everything in my power to get that medal. Just to give the people who are going through grief and are mourning, uh, just give them 30 seconds of happiness that they probably need that day. Black lives matter people. Black lives matter people. Black lives matter people. Black lives matter people. This organization, I know you individually, still very focused on social justice and equality. Uh, how does that manifest forward for you in a time where maybe it's not everybody's pure focus any longer? That's the thing, uh, it's, it's not everybody's pure focus. It's my pure focus, because at the end of the day, we always know that you know we're not equal right now. Uh, we don't have that equal opportunity as everybody has. Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! And I'm going to keep doing more and more and more until we can get changed. And uh, that's the bottom line, what I want to do, help our people. Bam's empathetic heart beats for the people of Miami. I got you. I got something for you. Happy Thanksgiving. You. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Particularly those who he can relate to most. A few key moments stay at the forefront of his mind. You know, one story I always talk about, and then that was paying off the lady's uh, rent for the rest of the year before she got evicted. Oh, my God! That is the moment that sticks out to me the most because I know what it felt like to be in that situation where you got to pick between a water bill or a light bill, and it was just one of those opportunities that just felt great to me. Thank you so much. You know, for a year, you, you can somewhat decompress as a, as a single mom, and my mom never had that. Speaking of your mother, I've had the pleasure to see her 
been building throughout this preseason and is always happy, right? She's so super happy for you and just radiates joy. But I imagine as she's getting settled in her new home that you've provided, how, how have you enjoyed watching her oh, get man. locked into the new crib? First of all, I, it took me all day not to tell her. Uh, when she got to finally walk through and uh, she seen the picture of our trailer on the right, she knew it was hers. Oh, Lord, Bell, you, you should have did that. That's the first thing she can absolutely say besides me that is like hers. So I feel like it meant like so much to her that she got her own house. Uh, she got her own dog, she has her own grass and uh, she can say everything in there is hers. One thing that we so enjoy about you is you are comfortable in your skin. I didn't need the music. You like it? Yeah, I got the hips. We do our little dance every once in a while. Why do you have that little camera? It's our memories. You took it in another place this past summer. Your acting chops. Action. You was about to hit me? Helping out uh, Dwayne Johnson along with Jimmy, uh, promoting the Jungle Cruise film. How enjoyable was that experience? When I get an opportunity to to do something like that, I, I always bring 110%. Bam, what kind of crew did you book us on? I mean, uh, hey man, you said you wanted exotic and thrilling. Acting is tougher than like a lot of people think it is. Action! Bam, this is all your fault! This is not my fault! You know, I just went out there and tried to give 110%. Uh, it was a great moment. I enjoyed seeing myself on TV a lot. I know the feeling. Welcome back to Inside the Heat. In season number five, Bam Adebayo has some lofty goals in front of him. His nickname, No Ceiling, is still in place as he continues to focus on how he can grow his game and make it look a little different this season. Leading this team to a championship is goal number one, but we find out from Bam what other aspirations lie ahead. Season five. Bam out of bio, Heat Nation should expect what? Man, first of all, you're five. This is crazy. Welcome to the Heat culture, fellas. Heat culture on three, one, two, three. Heat culture. You know, you expect the grind, the grit, the kennel dog. Bam working by himself in the paint, and he does not care. Throws it down with four Charlotte defenders in his face. Bam's always been someone who's who's aggressive. He's a world-class player. We want Bam to be himself and continue to, to attack. Bam drives right past Harden. Oh, my. He bullied him on Broadway. Bam deflected a smart pass, then stole it. That man can defend, folks. Each year, he's added to his game. We continue to try to maximize all the different areas on the floor as a playmaker, as a screener, as a post-up player, at the elbow. Uh, all of these things are going to help our team. That's what kind of makes Bam special, that he can finish games and be that center that can guard anybody on the court. It's another year just to just to level up myself, my team, this organization. And uh, hopefully, you know, instead of having this flag, we might, might have a big trophy up there, you know, having this Another inside the heat. Yes, sir. Championship. Here comes Lowry around the top of the arc. The lob now to Bam. The kiss off the glass. Bam out of bio scores at the rim. And Kyle Lowry's been a maestro here. Kyle Lowry has been a major key to unlocking Bam's powerful offense. Lowry sets up Bam for the 15-footer. Well, he, he gets his players the basketball in their sweet spot. It gives me and Jimmy opportunities to get easier baskets just by him pitching it ahead or pushing the pace. He's always got the next play speed. I just go out there and I do my job. My job is to try to make their jobs easier, put them into positions to be successful. Lowry out of oh, slams it home. As a leader, Bam makes sure this Heat team stays focused on the main thing. Miami is steamrolling opponents here early in the season. You know there are those nights you guys can get sideways. What have you learned about accepting those tough seas that happen 
one thing we, we always talk about in the huddle when, you know, something's not going right, we always say we got to conquer the storm. It's like UD says, let, let's start with getting three stops in a row. And then after that, we run in transition and see what happens. And then next thing you know, we might hit a couple shots and then the crowd gets into it and now it's a whole different ball game. I feel like the thing is just taking step by step and trying to conquer the storm. Holiday on the bounce for Brogdon, deflected away by Bam. That's a beautiful save. The defense has been good. Duncan for three. Off a tremendous screen by Bam out of bio. He's versatile, man. I think his upside is unbelievable, man. Um, you can see that he has room to get better in his game every year. You've been recognized for your skill set at All-Star, the many things that you can do. Uh, you've now been rightfully recognized as one of the elite defenders in this league. Off the deflection, Bam with the speed. Bam with Davis covering him, flies all the way in for the jam. We got a good group out there. Bam, you know, he probably, you know, he should win Defensive Player of the Year. Other accolades or goals that you've set for yourself? I want to be All-Star again. Uh, I won Defensive Player of the Year. I want to be All-NBA and uh, won a championship. We know the expectations are always, as you noted, to play for a championship, but this team really feels like it's built for that. As a leader of this team, what do you all need to do to make that actually happen? Play our game of basketball and don't let any, anybody get in the way of it. Left block, Bam's holding his ground, and the ball pops out. Lowry's got it. He's got a lob to Morris, to the glass and in. You know, the most things you remember about a championship is the journey. So we know it's going to be ups and downs. At the end of the day, as long as everybody comes to work ready to go and prepared, I feel like we got a chance with anybody. It has been such a pleasure watching Bam grow in front of our eyes. Never satisfied and always hungry. He is a leader and example to all those around him. We look forward to seeing where this season takes him and this Heat team as the quest for a championship continues. Thank you so much for watching this edition of Inside the Heat. I am Jason Jackson.